I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. Say, what is this thing? That, my friend, is an abacus. A fine device that helps me to count. I've never seen anything like it. I wish I had one. You may have that one after I receive the new one I've ordered. It's being shipped Unicorn Express, and I am expecting it at any time. Oh, thank you. It says, for Merlin. I'll bet this is the Abigail he was expecting. Maybe I'll just deliver it to him myself. This must be your package, Merlin. You are a fine fellow, Putt-Putt. This is the new abacus I have been expecting. Here, take my old one as a token of the past. Gee, thanks, Merlin. Hey, Sonny, you didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Peak your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. A little on the wheels will do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that oil can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. A rope! This might come in handy. Oh, my 
my goodness! It's my history report! Well, howdy, stranger. You're not from around these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? Uh, I think you have my history report up there on your front window. Well, at the moment, we're using the back side of it as a poster, asking our good citizens to keep a lookout for Virgil Clyde. He's the only horse we got in this here one-horse town, and he's missing. Maybe I can find Virgil Clyde for you. You do that, Putt-Putt, and the whole town would raise a happy ruckus. Then it won't make no never mind if you take your history report. Great! Well then, I'll keep on the lookout for Virgil Clyde. If... Uh -huh. Toby, I found a rope. And I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take me? Gold River, here we come. Well, what do we have here? Shucks, no gold. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woody, look at that! Animal tracks! I wonder where they go! All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. <laughs> well, praise be, someone heard me. How'd you get caught in that twine? I haven't the foggiest idea. I was trotting along playing chase with some prairie dog, and I must have tripped. I can't move an inch. Well, my name's Putt-Putt. And I'll help you if I can. I'm Virgil Clyde. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. And I'll be even more pleased if you can figure out a way to get me out of this mess. It looks much too tangled up for me to untangle. But don't worry, Virgil Clyde. I'll find something that will help me get that twine off you. Sure. You know I'd be much obliged. <laughs> 